In this video, we're going to discuss very briefly the concept of pole versioning. What pole versioning lets you do is make, as the name implies, multiple versions of the same pole and put it in the same file and perform, um, for example, analysis on multiple proposed designs or comparative analysis on befores and afters, um, so on and so forth, without losing the original version of a pole. So let's go ahead and make a version of this pole. Just click, right click on it and say I want to make a new version of this poll. And you'll see now I have two versions of the poll in the file. Here's the original, here's the new one, and the one indicated with the little red box around it is the one that's currently active. And what active means is that's the one I'm seeing in the 3D view, that's the one I'm seeing in the charts, and that's the one on which the load analysis is, and the capacity analysis is being performed. To make it a little easier for me to distinguish between the two, I'm going to change the description of the second one. This is my first test. Uh, solution for this guying problem. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to real quickly spin around here, and I'm going to take advantage of auto guying to go ahead and uh, throw in a single guy right up to the power zone. So it thinks about it for a second, and it's going to perform a calculation, and it's going to show, all right, well, that's all well and good. I mean, technically, this pole is now sufficiently guyed from the point of view of the guys, although I'm not super happy with uh, the uh, percent of my capacity that I'm using up and my moment values. And if you look real, real quickly, you'll see here there's a, a, a nasty little belly in the, in the deflection diagram of this pole. But technically, I could submit this as a proposed solution. But I'm going to go ahead and try to refine it a little better. I'm going to make another version of the same pole. All right, and I'm going to set that as test number two, and I'm going to go ahead and tell it, all right, just for the sake of argument, let's go in and throw in another guy in the, uh, in the secondary and service zone and throw in another guy in the comm zone, and we'll let it cook for a second or two, and now I think we're going to see it's done here. Boom, we're done. All right, now I'm much happier with this. The deflection chart is much better. The uh, percents are much better. And I'm pretty happy with this as my proposed solution. So if I go back and look over here, you can see I have my original poll. And I can go back and look at that by saying set that as the active version. You see the, the camera switches back. And now I'm back to the version with no guys. And it recalculates. And so I can cycle through these and look at them and do comparison of them just by setting which one is the currently active poll. So I'm going to set it back to my final proposed solution, and it's going to recalculate, and then I go ahead and save it. So that's poll versioning. Um, it's a pretty convenient way to either keep historical information about a poll or for performing comparative analysis. Um, now when I'm done with it, I can easily go in and also say I want to delete a particular version. So if I want to, if I decided, okay, I'm going to keep test number two, I want to get rid of this one, simple, it's just the same as a normal delete operation. Go ahead and we're going to delete, and away we go. Now I've got a, when I go ahead and save, I've got my original, and I've got my new proposed one, and maybe I'll send this to somebody for analysis. So that's poll versioning.